Welcome back to Viva Total Health. I'm Shifra and today we are bringing you Spirulina Banana Bread. This banana bread is filled with nutrient dense ingredients. It's so delicious and super easy to make. So spirulina is one of my new favorite ingredients to put into everyday foods. Today I'm using the brand Snacks Spirulina. It's my favorite. Spirulina is high in antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory properties as well as anti-carcinogenic properties. It's also rich in iron and calcium and overall great to add to so many different dishes. So that is the main star besides the bananas of our banana bread today. Bananas are a great source of potassium and fiber. Plus we have some healthy fats from our walnuts we're going to be putting in, our hemp seeds, and so many other nutrient dense ingredients we will be including today. Here are the ingredients you'll be using for your spirulina banana bread. Three bananas, one teaspoon of spirulina, two and a half cups of oat flour, a quarter cup of coconut oil, half a cup of almond milk, one egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of hemp seeds, three quarters cup of walnuts, and three quarters cup of dark chocolate chips. Lastly, a quarter cup of honey. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Next, we're going to place all of our bananas into our bowl. Next, I'm just going to take my fork and mash up my bananas a little bit. I'm going to add my oat flour. Next, I'm going to add my almond milk and just stir that around a little bit. My baking soda, my coconut oil. I'm going to add my egg, my vanilla, my spirulina. I highly recommend you use a hand mixer to evenly distribute all of the ingredients and also to be a little bit easier on your own. And our honey. Look how beautiful this color is. Oh my gosh, I love green and spirulina does it every single time. Now that we've used our hand mixer to mix up all of our ingredients, we are going to fold in our last two ingredients, our walnuts and dark chocolate chips and fold them all in. Now I'm just going to spray my glass pan with some avocado oil and pour in my batter. And last but not least, we're going to sprinkle our hemp seeds on top. I'm going to be placing this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Keep an eye on it. Every oven is different. So I took my banana bread out of the oven and it did take about an hour to bake. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I will see you all next time.